Welcome artists back to Art Project Hour and welcome back to my studio. Books have always held a really special place in my heart. And all my children are named after the characters of famous books too. I love reading, but I also love listening to stories and I love being read to as well. Whether it's a podcast, an author read, a friend recounting a memory, or good old fashioned ghost stories being told around a fire, when I hear the words, my mind creates brain movies. I can clearly imagine the characters, the setting, the landscape and the space. It's a sensory experience and I can almost feel the warmth of sun on my skin, the biting cold of snow, or taste the food described by the storyteller. The ability to conjure these images in the mind's eye is called fantasia. And all humans will sit on a spectrum of aphantasia, unable to form mental images, and hyperphantasia, the ability to produce strong mental images. The human brain is fascinating, and the different way it works in different people is what makes us all unique and special. It's all a variation in human experience. When we look at the books for different age groups, we notice that books made for babies are largely graphic based with basic text. Moving through toddlerhood and early schooling, the majority of books are heavily illustrated for younger readers, with text gradually replacing the illustrations. By the time you reach young adult and adult fiction, there's barely any to no illustrations at all. This progression of illustration to text is to coincide with our brain's development and growth as we age and mature, although many adults still prefer reading a graphic novel or comic over a wholly text-based fiction book. So this week, I'm going to read you a story. It's a book called The Hobbit by author J.R.R. Tolkien and was first published in 1937. So this is my copy here. You can see here it's only quite a small book and it has this lovely dust jacket and this illustrated cover. When you open it up, you see these map here. Within this map, you can see this English text and writing, but then there's also this other language here too, this runic text. When I read this story, just listen closely. I'm only going to be reading a short bit from this very, very first chapter here. And you can see that there are no illustrations at all. So close your eyes and listen and see what happens to your mind. Chapter one, an unexpected party. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms or an oozy smell, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. It had a perfectly round door like a porthole, painted green, with a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. The door opened on to a tube-shaped hall like a tunnel, a very comfortable tunnel without smoke, with panelled walls and floors tiled and carpeted, provided with polished chairs and lots and lots of pegs for hats and coats. The Hobbit was fond of visitors. The tunnel wound on and on, going fairly, but not quite straight, into the side of the hill. The hill, as all the people for many miles around called it. And many little round doors opened out of it, first on one side and then on the other. No going upstairs for the Hobbit. Bedrooms, bathrooms, cellars, pantries, lots of these. Wardrobes, he had a whole room devoted to clothes. Kitchens, dining rooms, all were on the same floor and indeed on the same passage. The best rooms were all on the left-hand side, going in, for these were the only ones to have windows deep set round windows looking over his garden and meadows beyond sloping down to the river. This hobbit was a very well-to-do hobbit and his name was Baggins. The Bagginses had lived in the neighbourhood of the hill for a time out of mind. This excerpt from The Hobbit is an example of immersive imagery. You feel like you are in the story travelling through Bilbo's home and seeing what he is seeing. Our ability to see these mind images is dependent on our age and brain development. 
as well as where we sit on the Fantasia spectrum. During the lockdown in 2020, author of the Harry Potter series, JK Rowling, teased out instalments online for her latest fantasy book, The Ichabog. She wanted to give joy, motivation, and a distraction to the children who were isolated and stuck at home due to the pandemic. To coincide with the online release, she simultaneously set a worldwide competition for children to illustrate the different chapters in the book. The competition was so successful that she received over 60,000 entries for the US and UK book versions, with the 34 winners of each book aged between 7 and 12 years old, being published in November of 2020. So taking inspiration from JK Rowling, for this week's task, I want you to become a book illustrator. You can illustrate that little section of the book that I just read out from The Hobbit, or you could do a book completely of your choosing. It's up to you. You could do a drawing, a painting, a collage, or you can even do a digital work. Thanks so much for joining me for Art Project Hour this week. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.